We go through. Did the star fanfare sound more triumphant than usual? Or am I crazy? Crazy. <laughs> it's funny. How do you mention that? Um, one thing that is like, like a massive like why why you like this Nintendo is the fact that when you open 3D All Stars, it does the the uh, Stargate theme is from is the one from Galaxy Two, but it's not in this collection. <laughs> Oh, oh, right. right. I can you're right, because it's like, you're right, because it's like the, it's like the, uh, you're right, because it's a little deeper, I think, than Galaxy 1's. No, I think it's the opposite. I think Galaxy 2's is higher perch. It's da, 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 da. That one. Yeah. It would have been even better here, if I had, like, like love. Da, da, ba, 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 da, da, da. Yeah. Would have been even better if they had Lava be, like, the... Like the framing device presenter for the free games. Oh, that would have been the mass, like the massive middle finger. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if we pointed this out yet, but um, you can, like, whenever you go for a launch star a second time, it shows the path. Yeah, I like that. You see like the little blue path and whatnot. That actually helps in one of the purple coin missions because it stops you from going through the same areas. Hmm. But yeah, I think we have enough. Ah, yes. So hungry. Yes. Mamma mia, somebody... Yeah. Somebody need to just carry a fun on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my, my voice is completely shot. Step aside, I got this. Step aside. And it's gonna be reused for a um, fast folk on it, I believe. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Surprised there wasn't a level. Surprised there wasn't a section in this level where you like just run across like Nintendo consoles. That would be cool. I mean, I oh I lo oh I love the GameCube thing in Mario in Mario um uh, Double Dash in Mario. Double Dash. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they did that with a Double Dash, and there's the DS in like well Mario Kart DS. Um, yeah. I don't think they did Where's any. My Wii? Yeah, I don't think they did any more than that. Nope. Which is kind of kind of sad. Uh, yeah, I would have liked to see a Wii. But aren't? Uh, uh, but I thought you had a Wii. <laughs> yeah. <It's> gonna... <laughs> jump to easy this. joke is easy, and also easy. J also, joke is not funny. Yeah. Uh. How come the gravity drew you off like that? But it's Galaxy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, to be close enough, otherwise you're just, you're just not gonna reach the this platform. Oh, where's the last ones? Yeah. Where's that pipe take you? I think they just send you, like back. Yeah, send you back or something. I know it's not a secret, so I'm Good. just gonna leave it. Enjoy the motion- enjoy the motion sickness, kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, that's not it. It's, it's done there. Says you! <laughs> yeah, says me. Yeah. Oh, okay. I okay. guess- Okay. Oh, okay, I guess- we c I can re-ask this question now since we've done a lot, a good chunk of the game. Um, is this uh, better or worse than Spyro camera um, motion circ? Ugh. That's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> good. I finally get out of the play room. Yes. I swear the neighbors are stealing my Wi-Fi. <laughs> The answer to your question is better. Oh, okay. So it's not as bad as that Spyro can, then. That's probably just down to the galaxy levels being shorter on average. Mm. Probably... And it should be the comets. Oh, no. Not yet. Okay, well, go to see slide now. But, yeah, I, get, I guess it's also the fact that Galaxy has a more, um, whatchamacallit, a more focused camera, I guess. Whereas Spyro games, like you're moving it yourself all the all the time. See, I don't necessarily dislike this galaxy. It's just kind of a lot of it is just 
a bunch of racers going around the whole ring and I, I don't know it's just not that interesting it kind of gets old after a while the one welcome back to, welcome, to, welcome to beach bowl 2.0 yeah. yeah, they do. They do like their beach levels in this game. Yeah, the the one upside to this level though is more pingus. <laughs> wait, they come in colors other than blue. Yeah, I think. Wait, why do penguins? Need, wait, why do penguins need swing caps? <laughs> because it's... why do um some of the ice enemies need scarves? Why does Ice Man need a parka? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. That is one cartoony looking shark. I think it's meant to be like an orca. Oh, yeah, that's but, fair. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, I think... Oh, yeah, this is e Okay. Yeah, doing this is easier as ev easier than ever now because... Yeah, it, on the Wii, doing all those, like, spins was, like, really tiring and hard to get right because you had to ke keep on shaking over and over and... Yeah, that's gonna get tiring, but... Because we're on the Switch now, we can just keep pressing Y. <laughs> Fly through my rings. Yes. Enjoying having your own button? It is nice, yeah. You're not gonna use the shell, Harry? You don't need it. I think I think the shell probably still is fa yeah, it's probably still faster than doing this. While well, you're on a timer? I th I think. Well, there's your shell right now. Yeah, it's basically like the uh, frickin' Beaver minigame in Majora's Mask. <laughs> they have beavers in the in Hyrule. Well, the, the Majora's Mask is Termina, but still. Termina doesn't exist, Harry. All the fan theories told me so. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, that might not be incorrect because God knows what Termina actually is. It is the beginning and the end. Yeah. We call that purgatory. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I will say this though, I still really like this theme though, it's definitely one of my favorites from Galaxy. I guess, just just to have something to talk about, um, where would you guys rank the... I, I guess I may as well like group both this and Galaxy 2 together, but where would you guys rank these games in terms of like Mario soundtracks? Because for me, I think these are my favorite. They're definitely high up there. Depends on my mood. Hmm. I jump it. Yeah. It turned to Galaxy One and Two at the very least. I kind of jump back and forth constantly. Yeah. I I, I don't know. I, maybe hearing them so often has just made me kind of take them for granted, or maybe I'm just a little grumpy of people having to scream their praises compared to every other Mario OST. So I, I don't mm. know. Well, I think it's definitely the first one that. Oh hey. Oh. Okay, might as well. Uh, it's definitely like the first one that really goes like super big band with it, so I kind of get that. Yeah, and now we have to have every guy, every armchair analyst saying, we need more orchestrated stuff. Mm. Well, I... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I do like the more... And I love orchestra as much as everybody, anybody else. Yeah, I do... I do, f like, sometimes enjoy the more simpler stuff sometimes, though, because, like, I mentioned earlier, I do really like Sunshine's OST. Like, sometimes in I'm more in the mood for that kind of thing. So, yeah, I don't always need orchestra. Okay, let's hope we don't at, the, at the same crushed. time, I'm thinking like, uh, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking because like, I, yeah, like, I love orchestra, but I'm trying to think where oh, else God. I would think like, because like, I'm trying to think of like how I feel about like orchestra versus MIDI. Yeah, I think you know it, what I mean. I think it kind of depends, like. For... I mean, yeah, it's obviously oh, a case by case basis because I'm like, because like I think the ba I'm not even gonna use Kingdom Hearts. I'm gonna use nah. Dragon Quest as my example. I have, okay, I have a, a thing, but oh, that was good. Ow. Yeah, I couldn't get past in time. But no, I I have another example, but you go, you go first. You should hear just any sound song in Dragon Quest XI S, and then immediately go into um uh yeah play Dragon Quest XI yeah and then look listen to the the original release of Dragon Quest XI. Mm. Yeah. Like my okay oh no better yet play Dragon Quest XI play Smash Brothers. 
And then, right. and then play Dragon Quest Eleven. The songs are night and day. Yeah. My example would, would be, like, the... Kind of just the Crash series in general. Like, I'm just thinking about the the uh, tracks in, like, those games. Like, mainly 1, 2, 3, Ruffle Cortex, and Twin Sanity. I just can't imagine those tracks being orchestrated. And I I feel like those, those games are, like... They just work with being like midis if you will and the... i'm not even sure if the original trilogy is midi i think they were using real instruments it just sounds like video game music yeah well i don't know what the specifics but um oh oh oops <laughs> okay that was my bad i didn't realize what it was how it was the the i think it was... of cortex is definitely electronic and that's mostly to its benefit yeah and then twin sanity just doesn't use instruments at all so yeah capella yeah, but the point the point I was trying to make though is that I I don't think Crash really works with with an orchestra. Like I'm just trying to picture that in my head, and that just sounds wrong to me. So yeah, that's like one series where I feel doing an orchestra would actually hurt it more than help. And it's definitely a case by case basis. Like you 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 don't want it all the time, but it does help uh, for those situations where it does make the music like have more impact i guess <laughs> like something like zelda definitely helps with uh, with an orchestra I, I think oh god damn it i think you what you should do is head um start the level going right okay mm -hmm. and once you get back to that switch right there on the left just turn around i guess oh, so. level would just make my palms sweat <laughs> Yeah. Oh, because yeah, then you'll be right back onto the platform where you'll need to be. That's what you mean, yeah. And you don't have to risk stepping on the button again. Yeah. I don't, because I, going back to the Zelda thing though, um, I don't remember too much about Skyward Sword soundtrack, but I think that's, I think that, isn't that game orchestrated? Yes, it's fully orchestrated. In fact, I think one of the big deals they made was packing with the soundtrack CD, I think, on the original release. Oh yeah, I think I had that CD. I mean, yeah, about how, what's it called? What's the track called? Ballad of the Goddesses? That sounds yeah. like... If it's not if it's not orchestrated, it's really good MIDI or orchestra. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely... Yeah, Zelda is definitely the series that would need it, because it's meant to be, like, a big s epic story kind of thing, so it makes sense to have it for that. Yeah, it's also why, I guess, like, one of the big things was when they released Skyward... Uh, not Skyward Sword. When they released um, uh, Wind Waker HD, they redone a bit, some some bits of the soundtrack. Yeah. Of uh, too too bad about Twilight Princess, but I think the soundtrack is still kind of fine as it is. Yeah, uh, I think yeah. I it's think, still, it, yeah. It's, grand, it's grandiose enough that I think it works. Yeah. It's like I can think of like Twilight eh, the Twilight Fields anytime, honestly. <laughs> yeah, Twilight Field. Well, well, I just kind of call it that because Hyrule Warriors, but. That's definitely one of my favorite, like, versions of a Hyrule Field theme. Yeah. It might, it might be that, my favorite, but I'm not sure. The more... Because, like, I do also like how it's also one that changes depending on how, what you're doing. Like, if you're standing yeah. still, walking, or on horseback. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think Ocarina of Time did that too, but, um, it's... I think... I don't know if it's more prevalent in Twilight Princess, but I do still like that it does that. I need to replay Twilight Princess. It's been a good while. Is the galaxy not complete yet? Uh, well, it's, no. I mean, we have, I, there must be a purple. There's a, there must yeah. be a, there's a purple coin. Yeah, all the big galaxies are purple coins. Joy. Yeah, because remember <laughs> the purple coin is Louis is the Luigi one. Yeah. Um. I'll be right back. You keep going. Okay. Uh. Actually, should we stop as soon as this dome's over? Because. I guess it just depends. Like, well, I mean, it's past midnight for me, so I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll stop as soon as the dome's over. Yeah. Alright. Sure, again, with the with this galaxy, we'd have to race around the uh, map again. <laughs> Shut up, penguins! Yeah. I do like this as well though, like, this toad is just slowly making a, um, cannon. God, I hope you know how to, uh, dive by this point. 
What the heck? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He just sends you flying whenever you touch him. Right, right. I don't know why I'm like just having expecting the talk funk feature for Guppy is that he'll just eat you. Yeah. Do I need to talk to you? Yeah. Where are you? Is that one an emperor penguin? I think they're meant to be. I don't know. I think those ones are meant to be like king penguins. And that's like. Yeah. I... Now, Harry, remember, unlike Uno, we can't let the penguin win this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically the game with this is just keep hold of the show and then you pretty much won. As long, yeah, as long as you're actually going forward. Yeah, and obviously you don't, like, drown. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, do, do, I mean, did we have anything else to add to what we were talking about? The whole music thing? About, um, I'm trying to think, because, like, at the same time, I like to think, like, with like midis versus like orchestra, it's just like I do. Obviously, the orchestra is overall gonna be the winner. Mhm. Mm but like some things just do sound better as a midi. Like yeah. Like I love everything in Kingdom Hearts, but now I'm going back to that. But like hmm. some songs do have like a certain punch to them only in midi form. Yeah, like looking back at some of the um, old midis, like they do. Yeah, some, some of them just have better, I guess percussion is the main thing, like some of it just, you want to move? <laughs> some of it just kind of, I don't know what the right word is, but like, just the drums and like, all the all the stuff, sometimes it just, it, it's more prevalent in the original. What, what song comes to mind first? Well, I mean, I, can't, I don't have specific tracks in mind, but... Um, just listening to some of those old- I guess maybe... Maybe working together? Mm. I'd have to look uh, back. Crystal- uh, Crystal likes the MIDI version of, um, uh, Shizu de Node more, I believe. Oh, the, um... Hollow, Hollow Bastion. Bastion in Kingdom Hearts 1. I think it's either that or, Ki or that or Hollow Bastion theme in general in Kingdom Hearts 1. Right. Oh, Hungry Luma. Yes. Yeah, we'll do that later. I mean, like, I, I will say going for Melody and Memory oh. kind of makes- Oh, wow, already. Okay. <laughs> makes, you makes you, like, appreciate certain songs more as MIDI. Yeah. I mean, oh, I actually- I mean, I do prefer, like, um, what's it called? Um, Old Friends, Old Rivals, I believe it's called. It, it, the battle theme to, um, uh, to Timeless River. That actually has a pretty good punch- to That actually has a pretty good, like, beat to it in, in MIDI. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I've listened to, like, all the tracks, but, you know. I think for the Luigi run, this is actually one of the tougher races. Well, because he, he knows some things that we don't, apparently. <laughs> yeah. And all, well, also, Luigi, like we mentioned before, Luigi, um... Okay, yeah. That's what happens if you, it, that's what happens if you get the um, boost wrong. Um, but yeah, it doesn't help that Luigi also... Um, like, loses, like, a, a decent amount of air when you spin. Uh, does he have a blue shell? No, I think I he didn't... has a green shell. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay, he's just no, he has a blue shell. Hey, why were you following him? I, I was just curious. Usually... Uh, curious. yeah, I, yeah, no, he was holding a blue shell. Uh... Oh, he is! Oh, that's, oh wow. this is probably gonna make me lose now. No! 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 <laughs> that sucked. Dead. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like Mario loses a race. He just has like a cardiac arrest. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, that is harder to get right than it looks. Like you have to be pretty much frame perfect. I don't know why it's funny that we seen him get a blue shell. Yeah, I didn't realize that. That's a cool detail. But yeah, from my yeah, from my remember, <laughs> I, I, he he let he let the water just catch his breath. <laughs> yeah, I think that that therein lies why the Luigi run is so much so much more difficult because he always I think he always stays in the water, and if even if you play like perfectly, 
right at this point, he's like right on your ass. So you can just like barely win. There we go. Don't drown, you bitch. Yeah. Wait, I'm that bitch too. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> what a predicament. <laughs> oh god. Um, you drown, but I don't. How about that? I think. I think it surpassed my star count on Galaxy One from when I was younger. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay, this one. This is. This one is uh, definitely my favorite of the three main stars here because this is a collect silver stars and it's just basically go around and explore the area and like just find them which I think well I by nature I'm the collector fun guy so I like this kind of stuff but uh, it's also something different than just race around the ring again so you know there's a silver star on that big thing in the middle yeah and there's bees big now thing. Yeah, this one, and I really like the purple coin challenge here as well, because it's basically just go around this whole place, platform around these clouds and whatnot, and, um, yeah. I think it's definitely one of the... Oh, good. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's definitely one of the more interesting, like, go around a, a big area to get the purple coin challenges. Yeah, there's not much else to say about this place. It's oh, stupid bird stole my- it's stupid bird stole my quarter. Who the way of it, stop. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's how I knew you were gonna like that one. Yeah. But yeah, one- Always oh, surreal, what, seeing, like, regular animals in Ed and Eddie outside, like, we're all farm animals. Yeah. <laughs> Insert double, uh... Uh, there well, were, I, oh, 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 so that's, oh, that's what the hungry game is. Yeah, that's right there. And the candies. Oh, uh, I remember there's one episode where the, oh, whoa, that yeah. was, that camera didn't look pleasant. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, that's what I get that. Uh, what were you saying? There was an episode, uh, I think it was during the newspaper episode where, um, Double D jumped a fence or something, and there was just a dog staring at him. No. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember you know that. What, uh, you remember that scrap? You know what I'm talking about, Scrappy? Yeah. The double. You got a dog attacking him. Oh. That's like the only dog you ever see. <laughs> mm. Yeah. There's like remarkably few animals. Like they spend a good deal of episodes like in the woods. They. You don't see many animals in that and Eddie unless they're on Rolf's farm. Yeah. I'm trying to remember, are you, I'm trying to think of like any other episode otherwise, it, besides Rolls Farm and the ones we talked about. Oh. Uh. Good. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't seen the show in a long time, so... Me Memor either. Memory's a bit hazy. Uh... Yeah, I can't think of any other examples. Mm. It's weird. Yeah, it is really weird. Um, wait, the fish. There we go. Like, when Eddie fish. and Ed are making their, like, trying to make a water park, they wind up draining a dam, and that kind of causes all the fish to start flopping about. <laughs> what was that? Oh, hmm. I'm trying to remember that episode exactly. Like, what else happened? Double D, like, couldn't sleep, and he was just being dragged around by everyone. Oh, it's always like, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> now I remember that. <laughs> yeah, this... Yeah. But like, don't want to be like, uh, uh, he was just like, uh, 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 uh. and Eddie like smacks him in the head, parallel to the car seat. <laughs> <laughs> or something uh, like that. I love that show. Maybe. I mean, there were bugs, like, double E's ant oh. farm and... No. Uh... Oh, hey, Guppy. Yep. Just chilling. He's friends of the, of the Pingus now. Yes, yeah, that's how water works. Yeah. I mean, th this is basically what they... What <laughs> Sonic Lost World basically copies, like, exactly that for one of the levels. Like, just... They, you use, like, juice to make, like, 
these um, shooters or whatever that just send you to different areas. And it's basically just exactly like that. Yay. It's the penguins. It's the penguru. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say though, uh, one thing that I do kind of miss from Sunshine is just a like a, a funny little detail is that when you jumped when you jumped on NPCs, they would actually react and be like Mario or whatever. And in this game, they like they do the animation when you jump on them, but after that, they just kind of stand there and just act like nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, what's, the, what's, the, what's the sign say? I don't know, but what did you say? Yes. Pinguru's place. So what, is this like his, ho his house? I guess it's just his chilling area. Get off you know, my property, you darn kids. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get arrived. No! I need the beam. Yeah, I do not recall seeing Peach that often in Sunshine. Yeah, I mean, I think you see her more often than really any other Mario game I can think of, but that's basically just you see her in Delfino Plaza for a little while before she gets, like, properly kidnapped. Um, yeah, I, I don't even recall talking to her that often. Yeah. You save her from peanut. Uh, no, no, peanut park is where she gets kidnapped for like pretty much the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, like Shadow Mario only like like kidnaps her for like a, like five seconds, and then um, she kind of just chills in the plaza for a while, and then yeah. Peanut Good park. idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, you know, not like the uh, people of Delfino have been kind of hostile to her and her party at this point. Yeah. Well, not even that. It's just like, oh, this is a very open spot where Shadow Mario can easily just grab me again. <laughs> it's like she, she I trusted can't... the Delfino police, and she trusted wrong. <laughs> we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. Spray. Wait, what? Just sprays them. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, no, like you can literally jump on them; and they won't punish you for that. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta love though when you think about it. Even when Mario starts Bowser, at the same time you kind of it's like, oh, he still gotta clean the aisle because they're still under community service. <laughs> I mean, by that point, like the island's like fine, I guess, but you know. But it's not- but his orders were to clean this entire island. Yeah. Including- oh gosh. Including- oh gosh. Mamma mia, including the bathrooms? Oh no. Yeah. I honestly Especially don't even- Especially the bathrooms. Actually no, I'm stupid. The uh, Luma- the Hungry Luma was there. 